In this video, I'm going to show you what tools to use, how to properly care for your dog at home, and I'm only going to tell you what you need to know. But I am going to talk a lot about clippers, bathing techniques, grooming methods. That's what we're going to focus on here today, my friends. I'm going to take the stress out of that for you. But right now, I want you guys to listen up. I want you to listen close. This is from me to you, and I'm here to help you guys. I care about you, and I care about your pets. I want you to stop stressing over how to groom your dogs at home. I am going to show you in this video right here today the important things that you should be doing at home to care for your pets and keep them in tip-top shape. I mean, their skin and coat, perfect. I don't want you stressing anymore. My email bins are flooded with emails from my viewers who are reaching out to me for help on how to groom their pets at home. It can be done and I will help you. Dog groomers are not considered life-sustaining businesses and have been closed during COVID-19 pandemic. That means many dogs are missing their scheduled grooming appointments. Sheltering at home does not mean your canine partner needs to be neglected. Now is the time to learn a few skills and pick up the slack for your groomer who is sure to be booked once the virus subsides. You ready for our first demo? I'm gonna let you meet one of my good friends, Harley. He's a Brussels Griffon, and he's gonna help show you the importance of bathing, how to properly do it, and how it can benefit your pet's skin and coat. And he's also gonna show you, if you have one of these at home that you use to shower with, you need one for your pet, just for your pet, okay? This is a wonderful tool. We're gonna use it right now. It's a dollar. It's amazing. You wanna see how it works? Grab your loofah and let's go. Harley's a little camera shy, guys, so don't be offended. He'll, he'll lighten up for you. I'm gonna show you right now. We're gonna take a look at his skin and coat, okay? This is what you may be seeing at home with your pets. A little flaky, a little dry, a little brittle looking. Just doesn't look great. It definitely needs rejuvenation. And Harley and I are gonna help you. First thing you need to do, and I want you guys to do this, often brush your dog two three times a week you don't realize the benefits your dog is getting from this and never bathe your dog without brushing them thoroughly first this stimulates the skin and coat it increases the blood flow to your pet's skin which encourages healthy skin and coat regrowth check this out your dog's hair follicles are not like yours one hair follicle on a dog can share up to like 15 to 30 hairs I'm showing you this illustration because I want you to be able to understand the very, very large importance of you brushing your dog. Just routine brushing as well as absolutely brushing your dog before you bathe them to remove the dead hair from the follicles because that is the secret to healthy skin and coat. See, nobody tells everybody this stuff. This is the truth. I tell the truth. I want you to know the truth. A comb and a brush and a bath. Let's show you how to do this. We're gonna start with diluting our shampoo. This is important, guys. All shampoo is dilutable, even if it doesn't say it's dilutable. It's all dilutable, meaning you add water to it. It just takes your shampoo to another level of clean. You can use whatever shampoo, pet safe shampoo, you choose to use, my friend. I recommend a lot of Tropiclean products. I use a lot of Bark to Basic products, Nature Specialty products. Uh, there's so many. Most of them are all dilutable. This one is 16 to 1. You can see that. It says it right on the gallon. Obviously, you probably don't buy your shampoo by the gallon, and that's fine. You can buy it all ready to use. But I want you to know, most all shampoos and conditioners, even if they don't say so, they are dilutable. We're gonna thoroughly rinse our dog's skin and coat before we wash them. The reason for that is it softens the dander in the skin and loosens grime in the coat. Now reach for that loofah and let's exfoliate your dog's skin. Using a loofah to apply the product to your dog's skin and coat is such a secret, guys. Who knew, right? This is wonderful, and it's actually like a massage to your pet. It's very soft, but here's one of the biggest benefits to using a loofah to bathe your pet at home. It pushes your shampoo to new levels that you didn't even know your shampoo was capable of. The loofah aids in getting into areas that are hard to get to, armpits, behind the ears, in the private areas, around the behind. It makes it so easy to wash your pet in those areas, all while gently exfoliating the skin, which encourages healthy skin and coat. I'm sharing this secret with you because you and not get this kind of clean on your pet by just using your fingertips or your hands. Hand washing. Hand washing is very effective. This is hand washing a dog, but we're using a loofah. 
to do it. I shared this grooming secret with my subscribers quite some time ago, and we all love loofahs. We talk about loofahs all the time in our live stream chats. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, guys, please do so. You're gonna need this information. I created this information for you and your pets. Don't forget to ring the bell so you get all notifications when I upload something. I have created a very special series of 44 videos on my channel geared towards helping you achieve quality care for your beloved pets at home during this difficult time of social distancing and restrictions. We'll link that playlist in the card for you right now as well as in the description below. Guys, you can refer to it. It should answer most all of your home grooming questions that you may be having at home right now. Let's get back to Harley in the tub. Now it's time to thoroughly rinse Harley. We have washed him, washed him very well with that loofah. And now we want to over rinse all the product off your dog, guys. Protect their eyes, protect their ears, protect their nose when you're rinsing around the face. But please, by all means, don't be afraid to wash that face. It's very important to get the face clean too. What's the best way to get your pet's face clean? Eye boogers, the debris around their mouth, food gets stuck in here. You have a flea comb, you're gonna need one. My favorite product is the Tropiclean Spa Facial. It doesn't burn, it cleans amazingly well. It will not burn the eyes, it's very safe. Let me show you how to use it. The foam boosting power of this product is really impressive too, I gotta tell you. But it's so gentle on their eyes and their mouth. I'll link a video in the card right now of me applying this product to my face, washing my face with it to see if it burned my eyes. So you gotta go check that out if you want a good laugh. But anyway, you just really, you, you pre-wet your dog's face, lather the product on and let it sit a little bit. I'll also link a video in the card right now demonstrating how to use the Tropiclean facial scrub. After you've let it sit on those grimy areas for about four minutes, then you gently just remove the buildup with a flea comb. It slides right out gently. Be very gentle and patient. It'll slide right out. This buildup can really cause irritation on your dog's face, on their skin, so it's really important to remove it. These are the types of things you guys should really be taking care of at home, especially during this COVID-19 time where you're worried your dog can't get to the groom or you really need to take care of their skin and coat and stop stressing over giving them a haircut. Speaking of haircut, this is my husband's beard trimmer. This is my husband's mustache trimmer, beard trimmer, you trimmer trimmer. Don't go at your dog with this. You will very much so injure their skin. It is way too short. It will cause major clipper irritation to their skin and they may never be cool with grooming again if you touch their skin with a beard trimmer. So don't do it. This is a professional pet clipper. This is the Wall KM10. This is the one that I always recommend. You guys know that. There are other clippers that can do the job. I have a wonderful clipper video. It tells you everything you need to know about pet trimmers. What to buy, what not to buy. I'll link that in the card for you now too. It's also in the playlist I made for you guys to groom your dog at home. Now listen closely. This is a major secret. I brush every dog after I have washed them, toweled them off, get them back out of the tub. This little guy's up on a grooming table right now. He's still damp. I've only toweled him off. This is a true secret how to help your dog's skin and coat at home to really rejuvenate the skin. It, it will continue to pull dead hair out of the coat if you go ahead and gently brush through the skin and coat after you bathe them before they're dry. Just keep in mind, the skin is soft right now because it was just bathed, so it's tender. Just be gentle, but it's a wonderful tip. I'm telling you how to bathe your dog at home. I'm telling you how to take care of the skin and coat because that is what you really can do at home right now. I know a lot of you don't know how to trim your dogs. You think you have to. I'm here to tell you, you don't have to give them a haircut. But if we do have to do any trimming, you stay put because I got it covered in this demo. Dry, itchy, flaky skin, smelly dog. This is how you cure it, guys. The bath, the brushing, and these bathing tips. And if you really, really want to give your dog a haircut at home, home, there are dangers involved and I have wonderful videos on my channel to show you how to do it as well as keep you from making terrible mistakes when you're grooming your dog. Don't hesitate to reach out to me in the comments of videos and I can guide you to get the information that you may be looking for. Right now guys, your groomers will be opening up again. You do not have to stress over clipping your dog. 
However, you may need to perform a little sanitary trimming and trimming the pads of the feet, maybe in the corners of the eyes. I can help you with that right now. You're definitely gonna want like a five in one clipper made for pets. I'm gonna show you how to trim the pads of the feet right now. Now you can also pick these little trimmers up on Amazon or at, at Walmart. This is in the pet section. They're very inexpensive. This trimmer is only made for pads of feet, not around the anus or the privates. You want to shave in a V shape on the bottom pad of your dog. Whatever your dog is going to stand on, you want to shave that gently. You don't come at that big pad straight on, you go at it in a V shape. Why do we trim the pads of the feet? Well, it's simple. This is considered part of the sanitary trim. It keeps your dog sanitary, clean, it keeps your house clean. Dogs can get mats in the pads of their feet and you may not be aware of it. And if they get a mat in there, it feels like they're walking on a rock every time they take a step. That's why it's important to shave the pads of the feet and keep them clean. As well as when they're outside, their feet get dirty or heaven forbid they step in something really yucky outside. If there's quite a bit of hair in the pads of their feet, it's going to collect in there. It's going to come back into your house as well as it can cause irritation to your dog's paws. So this is definitely something that you can do at home while your dog groomer is not open. Help maintain your dog's care at home. Overgrown nails, why it's important to keep up with the nails. This is my favorite nail trimmer. This is made by Miller's Forge. I will link all the products that I'm talking about in this video in the description below for you guys. This is like a $5 nail trimmer, free shipping. These are the best. Let me show you how and why we need to trim the dog's nails. Now this is what can happen if the nails are too overgrown. Do you see that pink? That is his quick. That is the nail that broke, cracked, and split away from the quick, which is the blood vessel that's inside of our pet's nails. This is very dangerous because if he would nick this open, it would bleed so terribly bad. And the only reason I'm showing you this is because I want you to know what can happen if you let your dog's nails get too overgrown. They become brittle and they can break and the quick can then be injured. And it is an injury. You would have to go to the vet. I push each nail with my ring finger forward so I can see it. We are trying to trim close to the quick. The quick is a little dot. You can see it there. That's on a clear nail. You can see the quick on a clear nail. You can see the quick on a dark nail. This nail is a little darker. You can see I can't go any further when I see that. If I go too much further, I'm going to get blood. I don't want to cause blood. It happens sometimes, but I do not want to cause that for my for my babies. It's all about how you communicate with the dog while you're trying to trim their nails, as well as how you handle their feet. And I always keep my body real close to their body, as close as I can, because when we're together in this, it provides them some sense of comfort. Dogs do stress over having their nails trimmed. Now, some dogs don't, I understand. That's the quick, that little pink dot on a clear nail and a little black dot on a dark nail is the quick. If you start seeing a little dot in there, don't go any closer. You're getting too close to that blood vessel that's inside of their nail. I have a couple very good demos on how to trim dogs nails the right way on my channel guys. I will make sure they're linked in the description. I also have a really good story about a dog that feared for her life with having her nails trimmed. I'll link it in the card right now. It's one of my untold stories of pet grooming and it's how I worked through Darcy's fear of having her nails trimmed. If you're not comfortable trimming your dog's nails, then seek a professional or call your vet. It is important to trim your dog's sanitary areas for your pet and for you. Let me show you how to do a sanitary trim. I have a number 10 blade on. We're gonna do a sanitary trim. I'm gonna pull his tail and his leg up. I'm gonna come this way. And then I'm gonna go the opposite way, just right in here. If he was a female and had a vulva, that's what we'd be going, towards the vulva. And for the anus, in all four directions. It's kind of hard to show on the camera all the time, guys. I'll do my best, okay? Boy, it's weird clipping without the clipper vac system. I don't like it. 
I don't like it. It just pulls the hair right where I want it. I don't have my tan blade. And I am only clipping. I'm only clipping to about the belly button. So I'm going to come right off the penis to about where the belly button is, which is right in front of the penis. And then we're going to come towards that in a V shape, kind of. And we're just cleaning this off under here with a tan blade. Good job. And it, if your dog can't do this, you can do all this from the underside like I was just doing. These are all the things you need to be focusing on right now, guys, while your groomers are closed, is skin and coat care. And after the COVID-19 scare is over, this goes for all the time, not just every eight weeks when your dog goes to the groomer. You need to do this kind of work at home. Maybe not the trimming, definitely the skin and coat care. but. How do you take care of your dog's coat at home if you don't have a bathing tub or you don't have a setup? You use a pet wash station. Yeah, look them up. Find out what pet wash stations are available to you in your area. Check this out. My top choice for pet wash stations is by far all the pet values pet wash stations. They're climate controlled, air conditioning and heated, whatever. Very clean, very beautiful, perfect height. They have grooming leashes already there for you or you can bring your own. They have force dryers to dry your dog when you're done washing them. So you don't take a wet pet home. I did a full demo on taking this clumber spaniel to a pet value pet wash stations so that I could show you all the benefits it can provide to your beloved pets too. And you're back. You guys got to take advantage of these pet wash stations. They are really a lifesaver. Very affordable. $10 to $5 to wash your dog and dry your dog. It's just perfect. Not to mention the mess that you won't be making in your tub at home. The fact that they have force dryers is not only convenient, but guys, it's the perfect way to de-shed a double coat. We know this. Oh my goodness, I, I just can't sing the praises enough of the Pet Value Pet Wash Stations and all other pet wash stations. I want you guys to take advantage of this for you and your pet. Grooming your pet starts with you, not your groomer. That's the message that I wanna send today, guys.